Sean Mize here, and now that I've gone through the steps for creating those pages that can help position you as an expert, we've gone through a lot of the things that can help position you as an expert, now what we're going to do, what I'm going to do, is I'm going to focus on how to position yourself as an expert to your list. So what happens, you know, the normal course of business is people visit your article or blog post or pay-per-click uh, uh, advertisement or e-zine advertisement or wherever it is that you're doing to drive traffic. And they find out who you are and they may or may not Google you and, and get more credibility information, but perhaps they give you their name and email address in, the, in exchange for you giving them an e-book or a, a small giveaway or recording or something along those lines and getting signed up to your list and so that you can send them an email every day if you wish. And now we're in a position where not only are we controlling what they see when they Google us, okay, now we can control the next 10 days, we can control the content of each email that they receive from us. That's the nice thing about email is we literally control what they read every day. Okay? We don't control what they read from other people, but we can certainly control what they read from us. And, and that's an important concept. You know, so often we have this idea of, you know, what do I write in my email? And, you know, what do people want to learn? And in, in reality, I believe the question should be, obviously, what do they want to learn? What are they here for? But I believe that one of the real questions that should be asked is, what do I want them to perceive about me in the first 10 days that they're on my list. And because of the fact that I'm going to send out 10 emails in the first 10 days that they're on my list, I can literally dictate what's going to be in each one of those 10 emails. Now, a really easy way to cre control that expert credibility experience is simply every single day to give them an opportunity to go to one of the places that we've already created for the purpose of Google. Can you see that happening? Yeah. Can you see how we could do that? So we don't have to create another 10 places that we can go to send people for credibility. We can literally send people to our e-zine articles profile. We can literally send people to an article we've written. We can literally send people to a YouTube video we've created. We can literally send people to our blog. We can literally send people to someone else's blog that talks about us. Okay. So you see how that can help us control the credibility experience. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. So what we could do is we could we could write ten emails that over the course of ten days we send people an email that each day sends them to one of these particular places. So let's go through some of what those emails could look like. Okay. And I'm going to give you a sample of those first 10 emails. Now, I'm not going to give you word for word what should be on each email. Why? Because if I do it word for word and you go out and you do it word for word and everybody else that learns what I'm doing does it word for word, all of a sudden you're going to be sending the same email as everybody else is and you're no longer going to look unique. And so if I were to give you word for word what to say, it would actually be a disservice. So I'm just going to simply give you a suggested order. It doesn't need to be in this order. There's no good reason for doing it in this order. Okay? You can mix and match these next 10 things any order you want. You could add 10 more things and mix and match them and make it 20 days if you wanted. I mean, you can write these emails any way that you want. I'm simply giving you one sample suggestion so that you don't walk away from this teaching thinking, well, how do I do it? So I'm going to tell you one way to do it, but please understand there's a million other ways to do it, and don't do it exactly the way that I'm giving you just because I'm giving it to you. Think about what you want on your list. Think about what you want to go out to your subscribers. Make it unique to you. So having said that, some ideas. The first email could say something like, welcome to my list. I am an expert at uh, whatever your niche is, and over the course of the next 10, 15 days, I'm going to be sending you some expert information. And if, by the way, you have any questions about anything in your niche, please send me a personal email. I really do answer my email. I don't outsource it. I answer my own email. Okay, that's all for today. That could be the first email. Now, the email could say, hey, if you'd like to read some more information before I send you tomorrow's email, go to my eZine Articles profile page, and on there there's several links to some of my other websites. Here, go there if you'd like to. Okay. The second email could say, here's an article I have written. 
and this would be a link to an easing articles article that you've written. Now, this would not be a link to just any old article out there. It would be a link to an article that specifically gives people some expert level advice. You don't even have to tell people that you're an expert. However, if you give them expert level advice that only someone who's an expert would know to give, they will just assume that you're an expert, right? Yeah. And if over the next 10 days you were to give them 10 pieces of expert level information that they read and looked at that said, wow, that's pretty cool information, at the end of 10 days, whether you're an expert or not, whether people believe, anybody else on earth believes that you're a world expert, this person that's been exposed to these 10 days worth of information that, that shows them that you have expert level information, what's their probable assumption going to be about you after 10 days? That you are indeed an expert. Yeah, they're going to see you as an expert. They may even know that someone else is the acclaimed world expert, and they may even think that you are the world's greatest secret expert. You are the world's greatest uncovered secret expert, and you never even have to tell them that you're an expert. You just have to give them incredible information, and they will believe that you know your material, right? Yeah. And again, we're not talking about deceiving anybody. I mean, if you're literally teaching people expert-level information and you're literally learning more expert-level information, then at the same time as they're getting information, you're genuinely becoming an expert, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the next email might be a link to a YouTube video that you've recorded. Again, it would contain expert-level information. And you could have a recording that you've made. Hey, this could be a five-minute recording with a quick tip. This could be a recording of an interview. It could be a one-hour interview where somebody interviews you for one hour and asks you 20 questions about your niche. Now, this could be, if you have a list, it could be a subscriber. It could be your best friend. It could be a, a worst enemy that you pay to do this for you. It could be your mother or your father or your son or your daughter, perhaps. Nobody even needs to know that that person is related to you. Okay? They don't even need to know that person's name. It can simply be an anonymous voice asking you 20 questions. And if you were to answer all of those 20 questions with good expert information, they wouldn't focus on who the interviewer was. They would simply focus on the fact that you sounded like an expert for an hour, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Okay. You could also write a short guide and send a link that says, here you can download a short guide I've written. If you have written a book or an ebook, you could send a link where they could purchase your ebook. If you have created an MP3 series or a homestead course, you could send people a link where they could purchase it. You could have written a PDF and you could send them a link to that PDF. You could have a link to a blog post that you've written. You could even have a link to a blog post on someone else's blog where you are a guest blogger, as long as that was good, solid information. You could have a link to an article that you've written on Goat Articles. You could have a link to, uh, to an article that you've written on Hub Pages or HubSpot. You could have a link to an article that you've written that's been posted to another website, like Gather.com. But perhaps you have a website that has been featured in Dig or StumbleUpon. You could have a link to that page. There's many. You could have a link to an article that you've written that's perhaps on a Facebook page, a MySpace page, a LinkedIn page, a Squidoo page. Over time, you could have an article that links to all of those places over time. And instead of sending someone one email that has a link to all of your articles on 10 different sites, you'd get more value out of that by spreading it out over 10 days or 10 articles or maybe even 10 weeks. Hey, those are simply some ideas of some of those emails that you could write over the first 10 days that would help position yourself as an expert. Perhaps in, you have a coaching program or you have a consulting service that you offer. You could have a link to a page that proposes that service. Perhaps you offer a complimentary consultation. Uh, you could send a link out to that particular page that would sh help show you as being an expert. Okay, now, over the course of these several recordings, I've taught you exactly what to do to position yourself as being an expert. And not only have I shown you 
how to position yourself as an expert. I've also shown you step-by-step step how to literally become one if you're not. Any questions on anything that I've covered so far today? No, sir. Excellent. How do you feel about this information? What, did, what do you see this doing for you in your business? Um, I think two recordings back, my, I had tingles in my stomach, and now I've just calmed down. I'm listening, and I'm not going to be able to appreciate the enormity of what you're saying until I listen back to it. And I think it's fantastic. And rather than jumping up and down and getting excited, I'm just going to calm down, listen to what you have to say, and then I'll record, listen to the recording and digest it um, at a slower pace. I think it's fantastic. Excellent. Think, uh, the, the Amazon stuff is, 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 is wonderful. Excellent. Very Sorry, good. it's all wonderful. It's all wonderful. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's good to hear. Obviously, that's what I want to hear. I want everybody that studies this material. Again, in this case, I've attempted to make this material as concise and precise as possible to give the exact steps for what to do rather than literally putting any kind of fluff in here, allowing there to be any overage of words that are necessary. I wanted this to be extremely concise so that people could take this information. And as you know, this is going to be a, a live product that people are going to be able to purchase and study from. So let me ask you this. If you'll just help me out here, is there anything that perhaps I have missed or that you would need as additional information to feel like I've I mean, I've literally totally included everything that someone would need to make this happen. Any questions at all? Anything you'd like you, me to touch on? I, I, you've given me enough information for me, Sean, so I could take this. I could take this and run with it, which which is exactly what I intend to do. So I can't Excellent. at this moment in time. I can't see or can't think of anything that's missing. Excellent. Very good. Well, let's go ahead and then end this. And uh, I do want to say to everybody that you've purchased this, this material, you're learning it. My guess is because of the powerful nature and the way that I've given it to you, the conciseness of it, you probably need to do what Elaine's going to do and listen to it again. Hopefully you've taken good notes. After listening to it again, you should be able literally follow my steps step by step. There's very little information that I've given you that's sort of wishy-washy in terms of you could do this, you could do that. Almost everything I've given you, if you do it, you'll get results. And I don't mean do one piece out of, say, the 25 steps or so altogether that I've given you. I'm saying go out and do everything I've taught you and, wow, you are going to get rankings. You are going to get a following as, as an expert. People, when they come onto your list, they are going to see you as an expert. And when people see you as an expert, there's some interesting things that happen. Number one, they tend to buy more from you. People tend to buy more from experts. They also tend to be willing to pay a higher price. They tend to have more respect for you. They tend to recommend you. There's lots of things that happen when you position yourself as an expert rather than just one more person selling some information in your niche. I challenge you today to take the next 30 days and literally position yourself as an expert, become an expert, and then once you've done the first 30-day blast, continue to take steps every single week to increase the level of expertness, not just that you're, you're perceived as, but that people are literally able to consider you, not just because of the information that you put out there, but the information that you have in your mind, in your head, between your ears, is literally expert level information, so that not only are you perceived as an expert, but you genuinely, over time, become the expert, or one of a top small group of experts, and I believe that you can do it.